thing with it ever being in my chat, because no one never talks in my chat. What's going on, man? Chef Nizzle, fucking continuing where we left off before in this game. Um, give you guys a quick little rundown in case for people who have, have not seen this game. Um, this is 20... So 20 years ago, from this game standpoint, um, there was a big outbreak that happened. People were kind of turning into zombies and doing whatever and, you know, eating people and shit, whatever. 20 years go by, and now we're stuck kind of in martial law at a lot of places, and right now I'm outside of the quarantine zone. That's why everything looks all broke down or whatever, but... Oh, excuse me. Got the hiccups coming on. But, um... I just, uh... Just made a deal with the Fireflies, which are people who are kind of going against the government. Similar to how the Rebels were with Star Wars and the Empire. But, um, but yeah, that's, uh, got, got this girl, and this girl, I'm supposed to smuggle her, smuggle her out, and, um, the reason why we're smuggling her out is because she got bit or scratched or whatever, like, three weeks ago, and she hasn't turned. Because most people who get bit or scratched by anybody in this game, um, two days is when they turn. And it's been three weeks. So they're assuming that she's the, the cure or whatever whatnot for the virus that's going on right now. And I think I played this game back in the day, I'm just not sure, but I figure right now what's going on with everything, with the coronavirus and all that, it's kind of a fitting game to play right now, you know, kind of see what could have happened if things didn't get, you know, fixed, but, you know, it is what it is, and now we're here, so we just got the girl outside the city, and now we gotta make our way to the capital, which I guess this freeway sign is supposed to give us a indication of where the capital is and um yeah and we're just gonna go from there and see what happens so there goes a little girl she's like 14 the other chick is the chick that I've been oh, running really? running with. I guess this is what these buildings look like at close. They're so damn tall. That almost looks like the World what Trade happened? Center, but I don't Found think that we're in New York. Quarantine zones, hoping to kill as much of the infected as possible. But uh, it worked for a little while. <laughs> because the. My main character, me, myself, I'm from Texas. That's where we can have it. So... Uh, what the hell was Fuck that? that? Yes, you hear that? Yeah. It sounded pretty far away, though. Shit. Are we safe? For now. Come on. There's the Capitol building. Yeah. We need to get around this mess. This is the downtown area? It was. Now it's giant wasteland. I don't know what to do because I don't want to fucking jump off the goddamn thing and break my legs. Why wouldn't it let me? Alright, so I guess we're going around. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, what? Where? That's not obviously where we're going, so... Uh, oh, let's go over there. Yeah. Over here. Hey, Tess. Coming. Something bad's gonna happen. I know it is. I always get that feeling before something bad happens. Heart. Body's pretty fresh. Yeah, it might be. Let's not stick around. Get the fuck out of here, then. Trying to ante up some gear real quick. Something happened. Looks like these guys died waiting for backup. games like this because games like this make me I scream like a little girl and I hate it god damn it clicker a clicker what's wrong with his face that's what years of infection will do to you so yeah. are they really? sort of they see using sound like bats like bats if you hear one clicking you gotta hide that's how they spot you like it's about to fall apart. Watch your head.
I need to find some fucking vet pack shit. real quick see if I can do this message without Flashlight's starting to go out. That's not a good thing. There we go. See if there's a way through. It's clear. Come on, Ellie. All right, kid, you're up. Come on. You got it. Damn, be quieter, man. Try to look this, let him off if there's nowhere we at. Come on, big guy. Let's go.
Ooh, I want that. I think that's it. Ellie, you okay? Other than shitting my pants, I'm fine. Let's go. Sorry, guys. I really want to. Sorry about that, guys. Just, yeah, I haven't seen, with the whole broken leg thing, I haven't really been able to do too much, so I've just been chilling, but since old girls got the, got the PlayStation 4 now, I can actually uh, play games and talk to people who I haven't seen in a while. I don't know. All right. Come on. The stairwell's blocked. Should we go back up? Oh, this is crazy. Just don't look down. Are you serious? Yeah, move your ass. carry more guns than you have holsters. Extra guns are slotted in your inventory and can be swapped with an equipped gun. Select a weapon to swap out. Hold X to bring up the inventory. Cycle through until the gun you want is equipped. Then release X. Alright. Uh, 
that's my, my pistol. Watch it. I can beat his ass then, okay. Oh, 
bitch. Bring your ass over here so I can whoop that ass. supposed to fucking do this. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Get off me. I got those good hands, nigga. What's up? All right, come on down. Press, Joel. Let's just get out of here. Boy, there was some shit in the other room. full life, so we should be good to go. Let's go. All right, hold on. There we go. All right. <laughs> See? Down we go. Yeah, let's get to it. You get through here. Watch your back. thinking after we get back we can take it easy for a little while you want to take it easy hey you're the one always going on about laying low and you always brush me off well not this time i believe we're gonna see it okay so I just go leave a nigga.
Through here. Some more gear. Okay. Look at his sleeve. Firefly. Yep. These guys aren't doing well in or out of the city. Let's hope there's someone off. Huh? Oh, Arc furrow. Okay, be careful with your supplies. Molotovs require the same ingredients as health kits. What the? They don't tell me shit. They're from the quarantine zone. See? They're not our guys. Over there. See him? Shit. God, we're almost out. Okay, Joel, you take point. I'll watch the rear. Ellie, no matter what, you stay right on his heels. Sure. You stay sharp. Fuck. Clickers can still hear you when you are crouched. Press whatever lightly to move more quietly. If you are heard, stop and wait until it's safe to move.
someone's texting me. God damn it. Serious? I'm going the wrong way.
Hey, what's up, Heather? How you doing? Thanks for stopping in. This fucking game is ridiculous. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing right now. My leg's doing better. Uh, I had therapy yesterday, and they said that my leg, I'm progressing pretty good, and hopefully by the end of the month, I won't have to use crutches anymore, but I still need the boot, but it's better than saying that I can't do shit, so... Now I got clearance to put weight on my leg and I got clearance to drive and do whatever so I can start doing a little bit more things that I normally would do. But other than that, yeah, I mean, pretty much it is what it is. Fuck. I'm starting to get hungry. It sucks. Like, I finally get someone to come into my channel and talk, and I'm hungry, and I kind of want to end. Yeah, it's good news. I mean, yeah, it could be worse. You know, I could be, you know, still no weight bearing or anything like that, but, you know, after two months or, let's see, this happened back happened on December 21st is when I fell out of the ceiling that day or that night or the next day I should say because technically it was after midnight um, I had my first surgery done and then I waited about two, two and a half weeks to have the swelling go down and then they did the second surgery and that happened, I believe it was January 4th. So it was a few days after the new year. 
And then uh, after that, I've been kind of just trying to heal and do whatever. And my last doctor's appointment checkup was the end of last month. So it was like, no, it was like February 26th is when my last checkup was. And they said that, yeah, you know, my leg is still broken. Like the bones are still broken, whatever. But my bones are starting to heal. So that's a good thing. Plus, when they put the plates and everything in and the screws, they fractured a couple spots in my leg. So that's another reason why things are taking a little longer. But but other than that, been doing pretty good. So just trying to stay positive and just keep doing what I got to do because I tell you, not working like I went from working six days a week being up at like you know five thirty six o'clock in the morning to doing nothing <laughs> yeah those pictures yeah and that's most of those pictures that I got there was a couple of them where I had the first surgery done and I had the external fixator. I had two rods that went into my shin and then I had one rod that went through my heel to keep my legs stable while the swelling went down. That's how they, they stabilized my tibula and my fibula. And then once the swelling went down for the second surgery, that's when I got my whole ankle reconstructed and yeah so it's been uh it's been a rough couple months but you know i'm i'm getting there at least now there's more of a light at the end of the tunnel because before it was just like oh my god am i gonna be able to walk again what's going on so at least now that i'm able to actually move around and do some things it's like oh finally i can do something like i don't have to just sit on the couch all day but but yeah, I was hoping some of would stop in because I was like, God damn, I've been streaming, well, not like streaming long times, but I'm like, for the last few days, I've been trying to get these streams out because I'm like, you know, I can do it from the PS4 and once I get my computer all up on point, I'll be able to do the remote play and have all my overlays and stuff. Oh yeah, it was, it, it hurt, like, after the first surgery, that one, first surgery didn't hurt too bad, like, I was in the hospital for about three, three and a half days after surgery, and, um, yeah, it sucked, but then when I went in for the second surgery, that's the one that, that really, like, because when they went in to reconstruct my ankle, they had to move a bunch of stuff around. So, like, my nerves and ligaments and muscles are all just not wanting to work with each other right now. So, that's the problem that I'm having. But, yeah, I had to get, like, nerve medicine because my pain, they just kept trying to give me Oxycontin, and I'm like, you know, that doesn't work, it's not working, like, it's not muscle, it's not, you know, whatever, like, it feels like my bone hurts, and they were like, well, you don't have nerves in your bone, but there's a membrane outside of your bone that could be causing the issue, and when they gave me the, the nerve medication, a lot of the pain went away, so I was like, oh, thank God. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with all of my notification stuff. Like, I, I, it's been forever since I streamed, so, like, I'm probably going to have to go back into, like, Streamlabs or whatever and just, like, redo everything pretty much, I'm assuming. So, that's the plan for 
this weekend. I might not stream this weekend, but I'm thinking I'm gonna I'm gonna do whatever to try to get my all my notifications and everything to go out right. Oh yeah, if, if that nurse wouldn't have helped me when she did, and she wasn't even my nurse, like I had hit the call button because I was in pain and like woke up from a nap just in tears and I'm like oh my god what's going on with my leg like what the fuck and she happened to uh come in and she was like I'm not your nurse but what's going on and I was like my leg is killing me like I don't know what's going on like I took a nap woke up and I'm just like uh and um she was like, I described to her what was going on. I was like, it's like my bone hurts. And she was like, well, you know, there's no nerves in your bone, but this medication, Gaputane, I think it's called, or Gapipetin or something like that it's called. But um, she was like, I could get this for you and, you know, that might help. And I was like, if you could, I would really appreciate it because all this other nurse is doing, it just keeps pumping me with, Oxycontins and it's not working She gave me the medication And maybe like 15-20 minutes Later it was like oh my god Like and then she came Back to check on me and I was just like oh my god Thank you so much I was like I could kiss you Right now like seriously Like you are a fucking lifesaver Like I No one wanted to hear me no one wanted to listen to me And that Nurse did and thank god it, it happened Not sure if you saw it, but I just gave you my prime sub. Oh, shit. Well, thank you for the sub. See, that's why I want to get the remote play working on my computer. Because if I can run this through OBS, I can see all of my notifications like that. And it would have popped up on the screen. So that's my plan for this weekend is to get... PS4 and the computer synced up with each other so that everything works out the way it's supposed to so that I can actually see when someone follows, see when someone subs and all that. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Like That's awesome. Yeah, Gapupentin, yeah. Yeah, that medication, oh my god, like that was the game changer right there because they were almost not going to let me out of the hospital because they didn't know if I was going to be able to um, deal with the pain. And I'm allergic to coating, so like Oxycontin, Vicodin, all those good pain reliever drugs, I can't take. So they gave me the lowest dose of Oxycontin and I I used that as necessary. But... Yeah, when when sh when that nurse gave me the fucking Gaputan or whatever, that shit was fucking life changing. Like, oh my god, like best fucking thing that's ever happened to me in my life. Like that that pill was was just as good as sex. Like seriously, like it just took all the pain away, and I was like, yes, like that's. And then I was able to sleep and everything, and it was just. They sent me home with that one, and I was like, yeah, awesome. So that was good shit on, on that nurse. Like, for her to know her shit like that, that was what's up. I know you're always here to support me, Heather. It's fucking awesome. Like, you've been, you're one of the OGs, you know. You've been around for I don't know how long. So, what, I'm going on, what, six years now streaming i think maybe somewhere around that yeah because you were yeah you were one of the first people to follow me so it's like that's fucking awesome and it's dope that i can still stream and have ogs come in and be like hey what's up you know so that really made my day like seriously like i know i haven't streamed in forever and i thought that my channel was dead i was like no one's gonna come in and talk to me but one of the OGs came in, and that's like, oh, shit, that's what's up.
Yeah, that's the one thing that sucks about me running with PS4. I have to, like, do the remote play so that I can see everything. Oh, so, so, so my bot is working. It's just not letting me see... Okay, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to go into my settings on Steam Labs and get all that set up and then run whatever through. See, now Steam Labs is starting to do its thing. Okay, so my bot is working. Yeah, you were one of the first followers. Yeah, like you were... Yeah, I mean, besides, like, Private Dairy, Riley, Rish, and Miss Cheese, a.k.a. Rish's ex-girlfriend, which I can't remember her name at the moment, Cassandra, you were, you were one of the, one of the, like, handful of people that first started following me. Yeah, I didn't even know Streamlabs. I didn't even know my Streamlabs was still, my bot was still running. I guess it's because I never had anyone actually talk in chat. So it never, because I got it where like if it's so many lines of chat are posted, Streamlabs kicks in and does whatever. Six years? Holy shit. I can't believe I've been streaming for that long. I guess out of those six years, there's a good, like, year and a half, almost two years where I didn't stream only because I was trying to, you know, deal with being homeless and whatever, but, man, that's fucking gangster, like, oh my god, like, you are literally, like, you were literally an OG in my channel, that's awesome, I fucking love it. Well... I think I am going to make something to eat real quick. Or maybe I might run up to McDonald's and grab something to eat real quick. And then come back and stream some more. So if you want to hop back in the stream when I get back, you're more than welcome to come back. I would really appreciate it. Um, other than that, um, yeah, I guess I'll be back in like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes and... You know, see see what's good with the stream and everything. I was one of your first people you followed, really? That means a lot to me, because when I first started, I was just a fucking nobody. Like, <laughs> I mean, I didn't, I didn't do, I mean, if it wasn't for Rish pushing me that day to do a stream... I probably would have never have gotten into it. And I mean, I was his co-host forever for like a, what? I think I was his co-host for like six months or so before I got my own channel. And yeah, like if it wasn't for Rish, I probably would have never have even gotten into anything for Twitch. And I fucking, I love this shit. Like I love streaming. And now that I'm able to stream again, it's like, Fuck, like a lot of, uh, a lot of my depression is gone right now because it's like I can talk with people and, you know, talking to OGs and stuff and being whatever. Like, I, I miss this. This is what I did this every day for, you know, what I lived with Rich for about two years or so. So, two years of just everyday streaming and then going to nothing really messed with my head a little bit, but I didn't, I didn't, <clears throat> I didn't think I'd ever be able to stream again or even have anyone even come back in, but out of all the people that came in right now, I had an OG that came back and that's what's up.
Yeah, I was, I was his co-host for yeah, a good minute because I wasn't sure about... I didn't have a computer. That was my problem. And um, then he found... He found a deal for a computer, got a newer one that was updated, and then I got his old computer, and I still have that computer, but the one I'm running on right now, a friend that I used to work with at the restaurant, he was a big gamer or whatever, so I got like a terabyte hard drive, it's got an AMD, like, I don't know, the graphics card in it's probably like three years old or something like that, like. It's way better than the box that Rich gave me, but, but nah, it's, it's dope, and I'm just, like, super excited, to, like, to actually have time to do it, because for a while there, I was just working all the time, I couldn't do anything, I couldn't stream if I wanted to, just because I worked so much, but now that I'm laid up until at least July, that's what they're projecting me to be walking again would be July. The latest would be August. And so I'm like, shit, if I'm going to be stuck in the house all the time, may as well do something. Maybe get my stream back on point. So, so yeah. Well, I appreciate that, Heather. You are an awesome person. And for anyone else that watches this stream or in the chat right now or whatever make sure you guys go check out heather lee she's an awesome fucking person she always she's always had my back whenever i was in that down and out moment she's always been there to try to pick up my spirits or whatever so she's a good person good peoples make sure y'all go give her a follow a like whatever the hell it whatever the hell you got to do nowadays Well, I appreciate you being around and watching me recover. Hopefully, I'll get my camera. Because that's the other reason why I want to do remote play. So I can have my camera and everything set up. So, yeah. And now I know my cooking stream was the fucking shit. Like, I miss doing that. Like, so much out-of-the-box cooking. Like, just... Like, oh, who do you know that would grill out of a fucking second-story window? Or who do you know that blows up a fucking Dutch oven on on camera? Like, my show was wild. It may have been stupid wild, and yeah, we may have been ridiculously drunk when we were doing it and high and all that. But I would never, I would never take any of that back. I love, I loved how that how the show was in the beginning, but then it it evolved. Because I didn't want people just to come in and watch me do something stupid or watch me make an ass of myself. I wanted people to watch my actual cooking because I got a talent for it. But all that other stuff was definitely some, some perks because, yeah, I thought outside the box. And I I always tried to do something different because on Twitch, there's a lot of people who do cooking streams. But no one does cooking streams like I do cooking streams. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to be that 30-minute Rachel Ray bullshit. And it's like, nah. My show might last four hours. But it's because I explain everything. I tell you why I'm doing it. There's fuck-ups that I have to fix. And it's just, you know... I miss it. I, I miss streaming that. And hopefully within the next couple of weeks... I'll be able to to get a cooking stream going. It's just with the leg right now, I can't stand too too long. So, and then trying to have crutches and everything in the kitchen is just a problem for me right now. So, when the Dutch oven explode, yeah. <laughs> And I was like, that's what happens when you go to the fucking thrift store and you're fucking high and you don't realize that you bought the wrong Dutch oven. Because <laughs> that, that Dutch oven that I was using, 
should have been one that either one I put in the oven or two I put inside of a crock pot. But no, I had the flame on the bottom of it. And yeah, huh, the good old days. I can't believe I didn't get banned for half the shit that I did fucking back in the day. I broke so many rules, it was fucking ridiculous. Yeah, everyone keeps telling me to take my time to recover, and I'm just like, you know what, I'm not used to it. I'm used to working. I'm not making the same money I was making before, so I'm like super strapped for cash, and it's like, I just got to figure out something where I can some type of way to make some income just so I can, you know, do a, do a show, do a cooking show. I got a lot of ingredients right now, but I'm missing the main things. Like I'm missing meats and, you know, whatever, but I've, I've always been a hustler. Yes. I always figure it out. I figure out something. So like I will, See, now I have to figure out a stream for this weekend. I have to do something here this week for cooking. I have to. Just be, you Now you motivated me. Now I have to do it. I'll figure out something, whether it's the most simplest thing or whatever. I don't... Something. I won't hurt myself. I'll... I'll keep it within my limits. And that's the other thing that's been kind of hard too is like, what can I cook that's not going to involve me standing at the stove forever? Or, you know, standing, you know, I, I a lot of it, I, I got to figure out how I can do a lot of it while sitting down, if I can. Yeah, I got the kitchen chairs or whatever, but it all just comes down to, like, prep work and figuring out whatever. Like, I might have to do a couple Rachel Ray-type shows just because I'm going to probably have to prep everything before I do, before I go live. Just so that I'm not either, one, sitting there doing whatever, prepping the whole time, or see if you know, old girl might want to help me out and maybe she can be my stove person or something. I don't know, but figure out something for the, I got to figure out something for this weekend now. See, I was thinking about a soup, but I was like, a soup doesn't really, soup is mostly knife work. And then, you know, you put stuff together. Like, I mean, I could, uh, maybe I could do a beef stew or something, maybe. Because then I can, you know, explain the reason of the reasoning of why you make the roux and all that. Like, you know, you know how my show is. Even though I may have been a ghetto motherfucker that got drunk and did whatever, I still use the proper techniques and everything. And that's what I still want to showcase when I do a stream. I don't want to just you know, do a 30 minute meal. Like I want to be able to be like, Hey, I make a roux for this reason. And there's three different types of roux. And you know, if you cook your roux this long and that long and blah, 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 like everything that goes with it. So yeah. And actually it would be a come up from the pot, the Dutch oven I blew up. Cause I blew up that Dutch oven and never really, uh, made stew again so maybe we'll do stew this weekend and kind of you know do something where it's like oh i fucked up that one time let's see if we can redeem ourselves now nah, it's all good i understand that i appreciate it you know it's like i therapists and the doctors they tell me the same thing and they're just like dude you can't you can't be doing as much as you're doing and I'm like but I just I can't just sit around like I'm not a person to sit around so it kind of sucks but I'm probably gonna end it here so I can go get some McDonald's 
and then I'll be back. I'll probably be back in like 10, 15 minutes. So if you uh, if you want to stop back in, Heather, and chat, you know, chop it up, that's what's up. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'll be back in like 10, 15 minutes, and uh, we'll get this stream going again. Yeah, drive. Yeah, drive safe. Yeah, I've driving's a little harder right now with with the broken leg. I can't really do freeway right now because I can't push my leg hard enough. But being on the normal streets, I'm fine. So, but uh, but thank you so much for stopping in. And for anyone who sees this stream later or was in chat lurking, make sure you guys go check out Heather Lee. She's an awesome fucking person. OG from back in the day, and yeah, she's good people. So you guys want to go give her a follow, give her a like, do all that shit you normally do on that. But for sure, I'll see you later, uh, Heather. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll be back in my 10, 15 minutes. So, all right, peace. Stop doing this Minnesota goodbye and just get it over and done with. So. <laughs>